Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos almost every single day. And in today's video, we're going on a doll hunt. So let's see what they've got. I heard there's lots of new stuff. All right, we're here. I was here not that long ago, but I'm seeing a lot more in the clearance sections, which tells me they've probably put new stuff on the actual shelves. And so, I mean, yeah, they're doing something. gotta walk around oh hello oh my god whoa hello abby has anyone found her in stores yet i actually don't know cool all right let's check out the disney dolls as well just to see don't think anything new is coming out in this area except Disney I love you forever but those go somewhere else oh and then our new holiday Barbie I've seen her a few times god her face is pretty well I've seen some of the holiday Barbies a few times already so they're not overly new excited that Monster High gets its whole own section but I think it's a weird location but I guess it's a Mattel aisle now and then oh my god they have them they have them ah, look they never had the others. Okay, well, I'm in trouble now. I gotta get all these. <laughs> oh my god. No, my store never gets anything. Okay, now I'm really excited to get to the Rainbow High aisle. Super cool. All right, let me pick mine out and I will return. Also, well, I'll be right back. I kind of want to check on the BFF Crybaby section since they're actually putting new stuff. Oh. Is it this aisle? Yes. Um, because this aisle has the BFF dolls, which I think is a huge mistake. I think that's contributing to low sales for BFFs, unfortunately. But um, nothing else here. Uh, Miniverse LOL though, which I rarely actually spot. And then here we have the Mini Bite cereal and more. Okay, let me go pick out my, I love you now. There was an employee, but the aisle's clear. Oh my God. <gasps> well, they have everything. Ooh. Oh my god. And the Kylie Bratz too. What? I'm telling you, it is so rare my store gets things. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even know about this. Oh my gosh. So I already got Wildflower. I'm putting mine there for now, but I'm going to get them back, of course. Victory. Oh my gosh. So they're missing... I forgot her name. Jams. But I'm sure she's just hasn't been unpackaged yet because wow okay no no new tweens yet oh whoa i didn't know about this well i didn't know it was being found in stores i knew about it and then no lifestyle yet Ugh. oh my god zombies too <laughs> i didn't grab a cart because i feel like it's a bad omen to grab a cart <laughs> oh the miraculous stuff do y'all have any oh Oh my god, yay! One Latinistas too? Oh my gosh. Well, I can't get everything right now, but I'm gonna get a sampling of a lot of this stuff. I never see the Kwame Surprise in stores. This is also very hard to find in stores. Oh, we might need to grab some of these. And I'm really interested in her. I feel like she looks super different. <laughs> so cool. Um, and then Felicia. I mean, I already have these two, uh, like the original releases, and then I don't have Dana or Felicia, so I'll be getting them. I don't know about today, though. And then, oh my god, seeing these is so cool. Seeing these in stores. She looks really interesting in person. I'm immediately drawn to Skylar, which, duh. <laughs> cool. So I'll have to pick up one of these today, I think. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. So pick out the best one with the best face so her eyebrows slightly off the first two i've noticed on most rainbow idols the right eyebrow is a bit too far over um i think the second one i picked was the best one so man i already have all the coloring for you dolls i ever wanted um, yeah i think oh i don't know guys I'm most drawn to this one. I think this was probably the first one, but I think we're going with her. So, add her to my pile, which is now too tall to fit on the shelf. 
and I'm just gonna get one runway doll for now. They'll stay around, like it's okay. Um, and they have Holly and the two pack. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much they have. And then there's a spot for the fashion studio, which I think is the Skylar Project Rainbow playset, um, which is super cool. I didn't think that was coming out this soon. Although I guess it's quarter three now. <laughs> and then, of course, I would love to get this one had um, a speck on her face, but I think this one looks perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yay! And then, oh, sorry, someone is walking by. Um, I'm also going to get the Fresh Beats dolls, so let's move over there. Ah, I didn't think I was going to find anything, so I didn't think to wait until Brett got home, so my bad. But did they have, they don't have my favorite one, but this was my second favorite. I really liked her outfit. So I'm gonna get her. I wanna see what the Fresh Beats dolls are all about. I thought they were really beautiful. Um, okay. I'm very tempted to get one of the Latinistas, but I think I'll wait just a minute, um, just cause I don't wanna get too much today. Um, but oh my gosh, yay. Oh, and then I kinda wanna get some of the Afmao plushies. Cause again, I don't know anything about Afmao, but I love those Mimi Owls and Brett loves them too. So he'll be really excited. And then the new Zombies too. Oh my God, they have everything. Oh, Dare to Care Bear too. Well, I just took this off the shelf, but she was here. <laughs> Should probably get some of those Kylie brats because if you guys didn't know, this packaging with the weird selfie that is like very odd is actually not, this is the first wave and it's limited and then they're gonna release like this again without this weird face on it, just so you know. Not saying her face is weird, but I'm saying the graphic design on this box is a disaster. So if you can and you find this empty or if you buy it all, you should probably grab it because <laughs> this will probably be like collectible at some point. Again, if you actually care, I doubt anybody will ever like pay a premium for it. Okay, so this is my haul so far. <laughs> um, again, they won't stay there. I'm just setting them down because I don't have a cart. Oh, 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 <gasps> the fuzzy surprise. Every time I look, I get something, I see something new. Oh my God. Well, I need to figure out which one's which now? <laughs> and then they do have the new Miniverse sets, but um, not Lifestyle, and I want Lifestyle. I'm actually surprised that's still out. <gasps> Whoa, look, are those new? Look at this one. Cool, kind of want the Frozen one. Gotta get some Mimi House too. Oh my God, there's so much. And I haven't even checked all the aisles. Like there's still stuff for Brett that I need to check on. Oh my God. I had to get a cart. I have too much stuff. I'm so excited though. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting this. All right. I think these sets are new. I like the heel ball. That's cool. Um, and then, oh, Sonic Prime. Ooh, this set too. Brett's looking for the Stardust Speedway, he said, which I'm not seeing, but they do have a lot of these. Oh, there's Mario there too. Um, unfortunately, no new except these prime sets but he got quite a few of those um that i brought him home from sweet sweet but that's cool that the sonic prime stuff is actually showing up here oh i'm blind start a speedway yay brett i'm not gonna tell him i found it though i want to surprise him oh hello well he likes sonic and shadow so there we go and then how cute is this i want to bring him home special stuff it's my birthday week guys but oh donkey kong donkey kong oh my god <laughs> you guys <laughs> oh is there Tanuki Mario too though? Cause he really wanted Tanuki. You guys, what the heck? Oh man, thank goodness I just got paid, but I'm gonna have to not spend money for a while um, <laughs> after this. Oh my gosh. Wow. He didn't want that set, but that is new. Um, I got him the multi-pack, right? Yeah, and I got him start a Speedway. He's, I didn't know there were larger Prime figures too, actually. Do you think he would want that? I don't know. He has a lot of the minis and he, he isn't as into Sonic Prime, but I thought it was pretty good actually. We watched it when it came out. Um, this set is kind of cool too, but I think he's I think he's good. I'll bring him back to Target later. You guys, what is going on? Oh my God. I want this so bad, but I'm gonna wait and I might regret it, but my cart currently looks like this which is looking like hundreds of dollars. So we'll wait. <laughs> what? Oh my God, sorry, I wasn't even filming. Cause again, I did not expect to find anything in this aisle. Ah! 
Oh my God. Unfortunately though, you guys, um, this is Yunya and this is Marina, if I recall correctly. And I'm only missing Deerling. Was that her name? I don't remember, sorry. Um, Cause I don't have her. Oh, and the Makery set too. Oh my God, they have so much stuff. This is heaven. Who is this? Oh, these are the reversible ones. I like the frog. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Cheshire Cat. I'm not a big Squishmallow guy though. So even though I really like the Cheshire Cat and that's cute, I don't hear it. Haha, -ha, I'm, I'm being normal guys. I'm just getting what I need. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, and then Legos, why not? There's a new Donkey Kong Mario set that comes out August 1st, but maybe it could be here early. That's one of the like packs, I think. That's not what the character packs he would want that, that whoa. I don't think he has this, and for $13, yeah. It's like it's Brett's birthday this weekend. <laughs> I just like buying him gifts. Okay. Um, I don't see the Donkey Kong sets, unfortunately. That would have been amazing. But we already got a Donkey Kong, so I'm very happy. Um, I almost want to check, I don't know why she's here, but who's who here? I bet the cow is the cowgirl boot, but I really want this fluffy, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll wait. We're back. So that was probably the most exciting doll hunt I've ever done, where I went to the store not expecting anything and immediately found almost everything. And I feel like there were probably things that were on the shelves that I didn't even notice that are new. Like that's just how much was going on. Every time I turned in a new direction in that main doll aisle, I found something new. That was super, super exciting. And I mean, ah, so I can't wait to be able to doll hunt further, but this is going to be my big doll hunt for this month. Uh, I don't think I'll be having another like large one. I might occasionally pick up one or two things, but I'm really excited to get reviews out for these dolls for you guys. So all of the dolls in this video should be getting reviews in the next couple of weeks. So get excited for that and let's check them out. Let's see what I got. So the first things that I got, as you saw, were the Disney I Love You Forever dolls. I picked out all four. I really loved the Disney store I Love You Forever dolls, but I'm feeling even more drawn to the Jack Pacific ones. So I got all four. So here we have the Inspired By or I Love Stitch one. And these are really impressive to me. I really like the faces. I think they're really well done. I can't wait to... I mean, I saw these and got to feel them in person, but I just can't wait to do my review and like look at them in more detail. They look fantastic. And these retail for $30 each with the two outfits and everything. I think that's a pretty competitive price point. I'm very curious to see how these are. I am worried about their success. Um, not because I care about the bottom line or anything, but I care about getting more of these dolls in the future. The place that they're in at Target is very strange. Like you saw it in the video. Funny enough, when I was in the Rainbow High aisle, I was carrying these and this family came up to me and was like, where did you get those? Those are so cool. And I was like, oh they're over here and I showed them and they were like how are we supposed to find these and I was like I know right so that's my case study normally I don't run into people in the doll aisle I try to go at times people aren't there because I'm filming but yeah so interesting so anyway here's the inspired by stitch doll or I love stitch doll that everybody thought was not coming out and then the Mickey one, which this one I have not actually like touched before because at Sweet Sweet, which if you guys want to check out my Sweet Sweet video, it's a big doll event where they, um, where companies will bring dolls and like show them off for launch. All of the dolls shown here except two, I was introduced to at Sweet Sweet and fell in love with at Sweet Sweet. So you can kind of see and hear from the companies directly in that video. So very exciting. I'll link it in the description. This doll was in box there. So I actually didn't get to interact with the doll directly. So yeah, and I think she's marvelous. Really, really beautiful. Super cute. And the packaging is just really nice for these. I'm so excited about them. And then we have the Ursula one. I, I can't decide who my favorite is, but I'm particularly drawn to this Ursula one today. At Sweet Sweet, I think my favorite was probably the Bambi one, but I don't know. This Ursula one just, especially this particular picture, just blew me away. I think she is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, I love her purple color scheme and everything. She's really cool. And I hope we get more villains ones because um, villain designs, I feel like... I feel like the designers have the most fun with the villains designs like princesses they're like I've done this a thousand times I don't care but when you get to a villain they're like yes and they really really give us cool designs so this one's super cool and then we have Bambi who's very unusual to see something like this for like I don't think there's ever been some kind of like inspired by Bambi type doll not that I know of so this one's pretty cool and this one actually reminds me of the I think it was the Disneyland 60th doll um or Disney I don't know I don't know what that doll was she was kind of weird she kind of looked like Aurora but um that's what this doll reminds me of do you guys know what I'm talking about 
Um, <laughs> I'll attach a photo of that doll if I can. Very strange Disney store release, but off the top of my head, this doll reminds me of her, but maybe she looks nothing like her and I'm just saying that, I don't know. Um, but her outfits are probably my favorite. I don't know about the base doll herself, we'll see. I do think she's quite beautiful really really beautiful this just makes me want jacks to have the full disney license jacks does a lot of disney stuff but they do like sub lines for disney so i think they do the encanto dolls like don't quote me on that i'm pretty sure they do um and they do like the disney toddler stuff they do the disney and me stuff and sometimes they do like styling head type products but they have never done like or they've done a few times like main disney ip stuff but they have never gotten like disney princess to do um funny enough they were the ones that made the Melody doll, like Ariel's daughter, the original one. They just happen to be the company that made that one. Jax is very fascinating. They're one of my favorite toy companies just because of their like, they're very interesting to me. Also, what a what a stacked lineup of amazing Jax dolls that is prominently on display behind me here. <laughs> okay, and then um, before we get to the MGA dolls, we have this doll. This is a Fresh Beats doll. So this is a new line by EPI who make the Fresh dolls. So I think that this counts as one of the Fresh dolls, but I'm not sure. And I like the Fresh dolls. I think they're actually really beautiful and they're pretty high quality too from what I've seen and felt. And I'm very interested in the line that I showed you guys in the video and also at Sweet Sweet. I saw them with like the the wrap tops that you can like change up that just seemed like a really fun play feature i would have especially loved that when i was younger too because um that was what drew me to lottie dog was that i thought they did that and they don't um and this line is just really different looking and i super like very stylized uh like strange obscure style dolls i hope these don't fade into obscurity i think they're quite cool um and they're just really really fantastic so i got this one because they didn't have my first favorite one which uh they don't have photos of them but the one with like the really, it's such a pretty outfit. I don't know, you, in my Sweet Sweet video, you'll see that one. It's the one we didn't see in this video. And I think there's some kind of animated series coming for these soon too. I was very, very impressed with um, these when I saw them at Sweet Sweet. So I was super pumped to be able to find them today. And yeah, looks like her name is Bao Bibi. Yeah, Pop Princess. And I can't wait to see what the series is like. I think these dolls are really pretty also. And the outfit is really unique and different, uh, which is always very exciting to see in a fashion doll line, especially one right out the gate. Um, and it says Bao BB is Afro-Asian, aka Blasian, from Oakland, California. She gained popularity on social media and skyrocketed to fame after she was featured on her friend Binyay Aule's hit song. I might be wrong because I thought Binyay has a T at the end. I'm sorry. I don't think. Is that French? I don't know. Um, Bao loves health and fitness when not in the recording studio. And you can find her helping with health and wellness causes on social media. Okay, I didn't realize this was gonna be like a social media theme. Um, oh, and it says a uh, beat, be as extra as the stars. This is cute. I'm very curious about these. I think they're awesome. So very excited to review this one for you guys. Very, very cool doll. Had the, they also had those infinity top dolls that I was super interested in. They had not enough surprise. They had the not enough surprise minis. They had Latinistas. Like they had a lot of really cool doll lines that I'm interested in checking out. But for now, uh, this is my haul. It's mainly the I Love You Forever dolls because I'm just so intrigued by them. Um, just, I, I love them. Okay, anyway, now on to the MGA dolls. So this is kind of surreal. I'm holding a Felicia doll in my hand. So if you're not up to date with Bratz lore, like, or not even lore, but like Bratz community stuff, um, or just like in general, the resale market for Bratz, this character, Felicia, only ever got two dolls, Campfire and sweet dreams and she has become like coveted by collectors ever since then for suspect reasons a lot of the time thank goodness mga decided to reproduce felicia and i'm also i like the sweet dreams line a lot but i don't have any of them and i have i'm missing two from campfire so now i'm only missing one from campfire because this doll is beautiful so she will work for me and I'm really excited that so many collectors are going to be able to get this doll too. Uh, usually with the reproductions, I'm kind of like, I don't know if this was fully necessary, but it's a nice doll. Uh, but with this one, fully necessary and a very nice doll. She is missing quite a bit of the stuff from the original doll, but I really like what she comes with. I think it's really cute and she's going to look so adorable in the campfire tent with everyone else, which I'm so excited about. And you can see her gorgeous artwork here. And I always love that she is like, what was her nickname? Glam Gecko. Yeah. Okay. Very, very pleased. And with this particular line, I actually have the Welcome to Fabulous. That's Welcome to Fabulous. That Tiana. Now I'm second guessing. It's Welcome to Fabulous. Where are you? Anyway, I have that Tiana doll, like complete, complete, like she's pristine. So I don't know if I'm going to get the repro. Maybe. Um, this Fiona I might get because she looks better than the original. And this Dana um, also I think looks better than the original. So I'll probably grab her. So 
Um, very excited about the Bratz reproductions now. I have I was just kind of mad about them, but they, they're they releasing characters that have just been a problem for years to get a hold of, like Kiana in The Last Wave, so I'm very happy. Also, the Ulala Kumi, I really like that one. That was a really cool one to do, too. So, um, And it's exciting to get ones like Express It Megan that are just like fan favorites, and you get like a pristine new one. That's always fun, too. So, yeah. And then our last doll that we got in this haul is Fantastic Fashion's Skylar. I can't stop calling them just Runway. Like, I don't know why this line is called Fantastic Fashion. It is cute, though. Um, but I got Skylar. I would have, like, walking in thinking, like, okay, if I find the Runway collection, I want to get Amaya was kind of my thought. Because Skylar and Amaya were my next two favorites of the ones that I don't already have. Uh, my To be clear, Violet, I just kind of got randomly. If you've seen that video, she is not my favorite in the line. She might end up being when I unbox her, I don't know. But from my first impressions, it was Poppy, Sunny, Skylar, and Amaya. Um, and Poppy and Sunny were very high up there. And Skylar and Amaya were a little bit lower. And then the others were like a lot lower. <laughs> um, but seeing Skylar, I think she might be the best one. But we'll see once I get her out of the packaging. I just, I'm so impressed by her face and her hair is so beautiful. And this denim dress is unbelievable. And I love this too. I'm just, oh, she has a bag. Oh, thank you. Why don't more of them come with bags? Okay, well, anyway, I'm very excited about her. And I'm also very excited that now I can just walk into Target and get these. Um, and the boxes look so cool on the shelves like hopefully you could see um well in the video like how they look compared to the other dolls uh so i'm very excited about that and i think compared to some other rainbow high releases rainbow high has been having a bit of an identity crisis um they're like i don't know what we want to be priced at i don't know like if we want to be like more playline or if we want to be more collector focused like they're going through a little bit of like growing pains right now which is good they're trying to figure out what works the best so that they can have a better staying power and i love rainbow high so i want to see it stick around um and i have to say these prices are relatively competitive they're not great but they're at least competitive with other things on the market especially considering the quality of these and they look awesome on the shelf so um also by the way that that's those people that i saw getting these the kid had violet from this line but she actually put the doll down for an i love you forever doll i saw that happen so <laughs> anyway, um, I also got two of those Mimeows. I will <laughs> insert a photo, I guess. Brett really enjoys those too. So um, with all the stuff that I bought for Brett, we opened those together. And I got Ruby, my birthstone. It's my birthday's in two days. This is my birthday doll hunt. I bought a lot of stuff, but this is for my birthday. Like, it's fine. Birthday presents that I bought for myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, if you just happen to be at Target and you're like, gee, I really need a new video game to play... I suggest you check out the new, my new favorite game of all time, best game ever made, Pikmin 4. Um, <laughs> I got this store display at Walmart um, like last, like over the weekend, but um, I'm using it to advertise to you. Um, I'm not affiliated with Nintendo in any way. I wish. I wish they would have involved me in anything related to Pikmin 4 because I love it. But I'm involving myself because I truly believe in Pikmin. It's my favorite franchise. It has been ever since I was a little kid. Uh, Pikmin 2 is my favorite game of all time. And if you have a Nintendo Switch and you're looking for, like, something different to play, uh, before school starts or before, like, work season comes back, I don't know. Because right now it's a very lax season for me, so I'm not at work anyway. <laughs> um, with my personal life, no, it's hectic. But, um... If you're looking for something, Pikmin 4 just came out and it's amazing. Uh, I haven't even beat it yet, by the way, and I've played 20 hours, I think. There's that much content. I just thought I was about to beat the game because I'm on like what I believed was the last level and then I unlocked a whole nother level. And a level is like hours and hours and hours worth of gameplay, just to be clear, with like lots of sub levels and stuff. So <laughs> I'm not done yet. I don't know when it ends, but I hope it never does. It seems like it will never end. So. <laughs> I'm very excited about it, but yeah, um, I can't really describe this game to you. It's like a real-time strategy, but also combat, but it's so, it's, it's something unlike any other game. Like, you gotta, you gotta check it out, and I'm never gonna shut up about it, so be annoyed. I'm actually charging my Switch right now because it died uh, before I started filming this because I was playing Pikmin, and I'm on this really hard level. <laughs> I'm on a really hard challenge level right now that I can't be, so yeah um and i've been playing this my whole life so <laughs> anyway um sorry i just had to evangelize a little bit about pikmin 
that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know which of these videos you want to see. Um, I, I don't know which one I will be. Like, right now, I'm kind of just whatever that day like when I am like okay it's time to film and I just gravitate towards a certain doll that's the one that I end up reviewing like yesterday I thought the video was going to be the Violet video but I actually ended up doing the Disney um Little Mermaid mermaid set instead so yeah um but the rest of July might be stacked I have a few PR packages that are expected so those probably have to be posted first but yeah just let me know what you're excited about and if you've been to Target or like if you live in the US, that's just Target is where everything's showing up first. I have heard of people finding stuff at Walmart too though. So especially Walmart Canada stuff is showing up at Walmart Canada too. Um, what do you think? What have you found? Like what's your favorite of the new releases that you've been seeing so far? I cannot wait to find the lifestyle miniverse stuff. That's what I'm super pumped about. I'm also really excited because there's these like amazing deluxe sets from the Disney store coming out of the Disney princesses. They're basically rebooting the classic doll line in a way and just making them like 90 times better for about the same price. At least I think they're about the same price. I'm not 100% sure. They come out August 1st though, so we'll see. And then also there's new like Disney store I love you forever stuff. Like doll season is here we had a very quiet season for a few months but it's back in full swing and I'm not ready <laughs> I'm not ready but I'm very excited I love these doll seasons and I'm very grateful that the market is the way that it is right now um because there's so many wonderful dolls to choose from and I hope that these reviews help you navigate it if you're trying to find the best doll for you um stick around I'll be reviewing a lot of dolls in the next month or two um <laughs> so yeah that's it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching bye